Greetings, welcome back to the outer worlds. I guess we'll have to check out the Zoe's room. Hmm, where is that? A few kindred spirits, okay. <laughs> okay, it's stealing, so I won't do anything. I hoped for some kind of a journal, something. Hello, are you the guy? Hi. You hungry? No. We got caned ribs. No, thank you. Flank. Mm. And it's now too. Something I can help you with? With Zoe, uh, I told you one of your numbers gone missing. You mean Zoe? Yep. Yeah, we were pretty close. Not like her to go loping off. Okay, what happened on the day she disappeared? Zoe and I were gonna watch the serials, as is our custom. She never turned up. I looked around, but she was nowhere to be found. You sound like some type of corporate fixer asking all these questions. I'll tell me a little about her. Zoe was always obsessed with this serial. Masked marketeer. A scion of Byzantium turns to banditry and teaches his marauder companions the wisdom of free market economics. Oh no. Shame she up and vanished when she did. I had a surprise lined up for her. Was she acting strange before? No, not uh, this one. I can't say I recall Zoe ever acting strange. Well, except for her habit of writing things down on scraps of paper. Okay. She called it journaling, but I think it's just plain odd. Mm, what was that about surprising her? The other day I got my hands on a genuine copy of the latest Masked Marketeer. I was gonna surprise Zoe with it, but she was gone the next day. Okay. Was there something else? No, see you around. Just get inside her now. Wait, 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 wait. What the? Really? So that's it then. No more edge water for me. No more canary. No more jumpsuits and gloves. Yes, ma'ams. And would you like another's? I don't know why I'm writing this down for posterity's sake. Because I've always hated the canary and I don't think I'll ever have to look back to this journal many years hence and tell myself, oh wow, I did hate the veil ones, didn't I? Just because I got sick, everybody gets sick. Well, okay, I got sick and I grabbed a little too much of Adrena time. Is that really a crime? I gotta treat myself when I'm sick, don't I? Whatever happened to personal responsibility and surviving by one's own bootstraps? Oh, but you misappropriate one box of Adrena time and suddenly you're committing larceny. Is that all for scraps of paper? No. Well, today is the day, Zoe. Today is the day you take your destiny into your own hands. I've been listening to Grace talk about the murder threat. Bands of wild, free-spirited bandits living in camps out in the hills, warming themselves by the light of barrel fires, probably mounted the heads of their enemies on spikes as a warning to folk like me. Living a life of comfort and ease, free of any rules, I bet they could take the whole region if they were organized. I've been packing away some of Adelaide's food and I've got some spare cans of salt tuna. Should last me a couple of weeks if I ration. Got some Adrena time too. Everybody loves Adrena time. Even Marauders, right? I got odds those Marauders will let me throw in with them if I dangle a couple syringes of Adrena time before their eyes. This is gonna be great. Look out, there are two Bandit Queen Zoe's original origin story has just begun. I'm gonna have a whole gang of Marauders at my back and call. Maybe I can even score some Rizos. The hell's Rizo? Okay. Oh, where? How? How far? Oh my God, it's pretty far. Um, it was this one, I think. Was it? No, it was not. Uh, stranger. Oh. No, this one. Yeah. 
Hmm, I don't trust this guy. Hello. Are you the light? At the light? Yes, you are. If hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're bearing illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? Mm, you must be at the light. I have been called that, among other things. Green Thumb, Grandmother, the strange old lady who keeps flowers. But yes, Adelaide will do just fine. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobacco tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been cleaned. Hmm. Where it sent me to make? Okay, let's. Is this your greenhouse? Let's talk first. Garden belongs to us all. Life is the gift of the universe, and the universe yields its bounty equally, absent of prejudice. Um, surprised we managed to grow anything out here. The soil around the Vale went sour years ago, but I found a way to sweeten it back up. Oh, that's interesting. The recipe is a little bit of elbow grease, a dash of love, and a heaping pile of special fertilizer. Looks, looks like you've made a home for yourself. Home for anyone who's ever turned their backs on Edgewater. Home for those of us with nowhere left to go and nothing to lose. So, like the spores of the puffball cast on the wind and alighting on fresh soil, we put down new roots. Why did you leave your old home? It is an unpleasant story, dear. But the short of it is that. Sometimes one wakes up and realizes the place that was once her home for much of her life has changed. The home in which we spent our lives has left us behind, and so we must move on. And that is as much as I will say on the subject. Hmm. Reed sent me to make peace with you. Thompson, yes. You here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile. Yep. Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace then? Hmm. Yeah, where it asks you to consider coming back down, he's willing to make amends. Uh, yeah. Make amends. It's fairy. Only thing Reed knows how to make is a mess. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. Reed asked me to divert your power over to him. He mentioned a geothermal plant. Would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plan? I didn't agree to anything. You can't pass a power regulator and need it to repair my ship. Canary's got a regulator. I know that. Ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater oh. and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. Don't do that, we're not in Fable. What have we got against the town? Hmm. You've seen that miserable excuse for a town with your own lamps. Hollowed out workers laboring their lives away at the cannery, living off whatever scrap spacer's choice throws them. You know that's true, don't you, Ms. Holcomb? Your father died of overwork. His heart gave out. He, he was tired all the time, sure, but he was old, ma'am, and he raised me all by his lonesome. Look what they did to this child. Lost her family to the company, and still she defends them. Hmm. I know I don't much like you throwing that in her face. I'm all right. I ain't so fragile. It's not nice, though. It was unkind of me. I'm sorry, dear. Mm, what do you have against people trying to make a living? It's not much of a living. Every single person in that town has sold themselves to Spacer's Choice. 
The company owns them. Body, blood, and bones. You've been there. You've seen it. All anyone ever does is toil over a cannery. They give their lives for some heartless corporation, and then they're tossed into a Spacer's Choice brand cemetery. Let's say I help you. I help you. What happens to Edgewater? Life in Edgewater grinds to a halt. The cannery shuts down. Workers desert in droves, and our own little camp grows and thrives. Your thing is just trying to spite you. You bring power to Reed's town, and you'll be killing us. Reed knows it. He's counting on it. I'll consider it. I trust you will listen to your conscience. <sighs> Somehow your eyes look so creepy in here. Something you need? Okay, we'll talk later about that, I guess. Yeah, now we have to go over there anyway, so let's do that. It isn't Zoe somewhere on the right though? I think she is. Yeah, okay, let's go there. Let's go for her first. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. I didn't really expect there being anything useful. Oh, those guys are still there. Oh, there's a lot of them. I only saw like three. Keep your cool. Okay, but I got past it, so no worries. It wasn't that... Wow, really? Okay. Ooh, nice. If you're alright, then yeah. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, nothing, nothing, really? It's empty. Did I lose him? Yeah. Sometimes I turn away too fast to notice. That's so pretty. Is there something in there? Or is that just... Well, there's some dead guy. There's some more dead guys. There we go. Oh, no, 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 don't go there, don't go there. Give me a second, I'll save. Yes. Of course I want to try killing. There's two of them. There's three of them. Let's go for this one. I wouldn't be standing there if I were you. What the fuck? I didn't expect him to appear right in my face, right in my face. Okay. No, 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 don't kill her, don't. Oh my god. Okay, he's still there. Primal Blaine, Primal Brain. 
just wanted to try to see whether I'm able to kill such big guys and loot their stuff. Ooh, I guess that's nice. Give me a brain. Is there anything else beyond that part? It looks pretty barren. It doesn't look like a fighting area, not at all. Okay, I'll over. Right, this one, I shouldn't have done that. North Gold, Canid Alpha. I don't think, I don't see anything. Well, there are some bodies. No, you don't, no, you don't, no, you don't. Mm. Your companion has leveled up. Okay, that later. Yeah. Nice. Oh, there's nothing on him. Come on. Oh. Okay, give me that. Thank you. Hmm. Oh, that's nice. Okay, give me that. Terrorary. Okay, I think it was pretty nice. Very fruitful. Okay, let's. I'll do the leveling up. Be right back. All right, so that there's that. So I'll accept. Don't think I have new any new perks. Okay, but Parvati has some new perks. Boy stores increase the amount of threat this company generates when attacking enemies, make them more likely to trust your injuring screen when oh that's nice. Ah uh, give me that. So my in engineering is increased by ten. Nice. Okay. But I am really low on that. On ammo, general. Wait, what? I saw some health. Health bar. I have no idea what it was. Okay, never mind then. But we are going towards the red thingies. Yes. Okay, I see someone all the way there. And I, yes, I know I'm not using Pravati's skills. Is that the cannon? Yeah, tamed. Can I check your skills, Pravati? Uh, skills persuade, lock pick, oh, and engineering. No, that's not it, I think. Ability overload. Pravati slams down her hammer, creating a blast wave that shocks enemy and stuns automatically. Right, inventory. I think I have something better. Nine, seven. That's certain. That's sixteen. Give me that. And that's nine. Give me that. <laughs> and I think I have some better armor for you. Nine. I'll give you that. Seven, nine, four, three. Okay. I don't have anything better for you. You can sprint on f or fast travel while encumbered. Sell, drop, or break down items and use to to carry weight. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, I'm blind. Ah! Come out! Wait, what? Okay, you're... <laughs> Good job. Give me a lot of that. Okay. That makes sense, stuffle sense, really? Oh, 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 nice. Can I use you? No. 
and just glue to really well, I really need to look out for the workbench. Oh, there's under. No, 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 no. The guy here didn't notice mine. Zoe. Oh, it's Zoe. We found her. Great, give me a second. Because there is a case. God damn it. Really? Hey, I. Oh, I guess it was just wow. shocked. You crossed them all off. Like some yep. Sort of heroic accountant running down a list. Teach me your ways. No. There's Zoe. What? You mean Adelaide's little congregation of nature loving nobodies? Yes. I could not possibly be less interested in them. You, on the other hand, you were a sight to behold. If I had half your skills, I'd be the greatest outlaw the coast has ever seen. You wanna be outlaw, really? I need you to clarify something for me. You're great at clarifying. Sure. Are you a prisoner here? Uh, no. I insinuated myself into their company, see? And they didn't seem to mind one whit. How are you even alive? I don't know. The vital processes that constitute the miracle of life are mysterious and unknowable. You're a smart ass, aren't you? Around these guys? Yes! Marauders wouldn't hurt me, they love me. I'm practically their queen. Yeah, must be my natural charisma. Why did you leave camp? I got kicked out of Edgewater on account of falling sick with plague and stealing some medicine to treat myself. I'd heard some outlaws set up camp in the botanical labs. I decided to throw in with them, seeing as I always wanted to be an outlaw myself. Instead, what do I find but a bunch of former workers camped out around a greenhouse. I couldn't just go back to the cannery, so I was stuck with them. There was something else. Mm -hmm. time in Halcyon. Of course, you've got. I've been sent to find Why? you. Adelaide wants me back on garden duty or something. Thanks, but I'm not going anywhere. This is where I belong. I'm on dead tomorrow. There's. You have to go back. I doubt that. Nobody in that camp really cared about me. What about Stefan? Yeah, I suppose you're right. Also, he could carry on a conversation. Unlike these hooligans. I'll take my stuff and head on back, I suppose. Grace is gonna be glaring knives at me. So I've got that to look forward to. Take care. And don't don't get yourself pulled into something on your way back. Oh, nice. Of course I cannot. Wait. Oh, thank you. Looks oddly familiar. Place I've place I visited. Ah, thank you. Oh, there's some little, oh, there's some case here. Nice. Yeah, ooh. So that's useful. Let's visit upstairs. Oh, nice. What? Oh, I thought there was something I could pick up. Make it up? No. Thank you. Try to still stay clear of the mines. Okay, where do you want? Okay, so we still have to check in with the quest. Hey. But I think we're gonna end this part here. For now, thank you very much, stay alive, and see you soon.